Welcome back to Olympus Critics. This is my review of season five. I mean, season two, episode five review. Now, I did not do an episode four. A lot was going on, busy with work. Then I actually did film an episode four review. It just would not download at all. Um, it was a waste of a video, man, because I was definitely diving into some stuff between Boyd and Kenny and Jay. There's a lot of stuff with Jay. That's why this thumbnail has mostly of Jade on it with my thumbnail. Cause Jade is becoming a very important character this season. Last season he, he was he was there, he was a bit of an a-hole, but you saw he was important in some some aspects of last season. But this uh, this season, Jade has been one of my favorite characters to watch. And this episode definitely gave us a lot of story about what Jade found out with finally Victor and also Victor, we 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 kind of figured Victor is an asset. A lot of people, I mean, boy thinks it's Sarah, which is probably true, but she she got blood on her hands. We saw that this episode, last episode, you know, Kenny found out Kenny's on a rampage right now with, with anger and stuff. I mean, he didn't get Christy. Christy's um, fiance's in there, so he's not gonna get Christy. He's pissed because Boyd didn't tell him about what Sarah did to the people in the clinic, also his father. It's just chaotic. He's not his dep deputy anymore. He's like pissed, like he's pissed. And I think that's going to tie into some stuff what we, what we saw in this episode with him and what Boyd and Donna was talking about. Donna is basically saying the people are losing faith in Boyd. A uh, coup could be happening soon. And I think that guy, which the episode started off with the uh, the bus rider who has been pissing everybody off, he will probably, I, I, I did say he will probably, they're setting him up to be an antagonist. And I think he will be a villain of this show soon because he definitely was not scared of the monsters in this episode in the beginning. He was not scared at all. Like he's sitting there taunting the monsters the monsters was taunting him he went right back to taunting them and they walked away from him because there was no fear he will he's going to pose a problem i think he's going to pose a problem now, i mean the situation right now with boyd is going crazy right now because he's dealing with sarah sarah's not listening to him she keeps leaving the place she told kenny She's leaving the place. Kenny goes and tells Tabitha and Jim that he, she's she's back in town. They confront her. Chaotic. But it all ended up pretty well for Boy a little bit because he found he found an ally. And that was Jim. Jim, you know, Ethan went to go see, went to see Sarah. And so Jim took her to see Sarah. And Jim saw that, yeah, she's not a killer. You know, she's not a killer. We all we all know she, even though she did take them out, you know, she's been messed with like Abby was and some other people. So he didn't see a killer in Sarah. So he, he and he came to the conclusion that him and Boyd need each other to get up out this, to get up out of that town. So yes, even though he lost Kenny, he seems that he has gained Jim in this episode, uh, but we'll see what happens with with Boyd. Will he actually let Jim in? Kind of like how him and Father Cotri were, were so close, not necessarily close, but knew what needed to be done. Will, will Jim and Boyd connect like that? But Sarah, Sarah was getting on my nerve in this episode. She just would not stay put. She just would not stay put. And she, to me, she just did more harm than good. I mean, she had a conversation with Elgin, which I told you guys something's leading up to that because Elgin was a lot talkative to Sarah. Did anybody else up in that town that could be setting something up? Um, especially what we got with with Victor and Jade, because John Victor. Victor just knows too much, man. They have got to get some more information out of him. He's so, he's so freaking stubborn that he doesn't want to talk about stuff. But Jay was able to do a favor for him. Jay also saw Vision again, which is driving him crazy. 
and we got some backstory of what's it going to lead up to because we found Victor finally was able to open up to him because he had to do a favor. I mean, um, Jade had to do a favor. Victor had to play the violin, which um, reminded him of his mother, what she used to do to him when he got scared and sang the song. I mean, played the um, violin. But we also got more of a new area that Victor took Jade to where all the previous cars were when Victor got there. He put them in that spot, all in those, those spots, and he. We finally got information of the guy on the picture with, with um, Victor when he was a kid. Victor finally opened up about some of the people that were there when he was there. And what we got was the guy was a, a friendly dude. He was a friendly dude until he started seeing that same symbol that Jade has been seeing. And Victor said he just started acting crazy after that and he was responsible for taking out the people when victor was there that is a huge revelation because we saw abby do some stuff like that we don't know what she saw we don't know what abby saw but we did see what she did she was taking out people with, a, with that handgun and boy had to put her down sarah the people, whatever was talking to her, we still don't know what's been talking to her. We know the little boy in the white, but she said others was talking to her. She started taking out people. She just didn't do as much damage than Abby. Abby probably took about what, maybe about four or five people. But this dude took out. He said he took out the, almost the whole town. And Victor was the only survivor. He even took out his mother. And like I've been saying, this is setting up to be who will who's going to break between because we saw Tabitha this episode Tabitha saw those kids again in the woods and Jade stumbled upon her after his conversation with Victor about all that stuff to do it's it, Martin my Martin who on the old guy who's in chain though he said the monsters were just the tip of the spear they are setting up who is going to go on a rampage um, we just don't know who. Will it be Tabitha? I don't think it'll, it possibly could be Tabitha. Will it be Elgin? Who's a new character. Really don't know what he's been seeing. But they've definitely been messing with him. Whatever these things are. Sarah already did her damage. Um, who am I missing? I'm missing somebody. I can't remember who I'm missing. Jade. Is it going to be Jade? Is Jade going to break? Because he still does not know that Sarah is responsible for killing his friend. Yes, he still does not know. Now, Christy, we saw Christy in this episode, how she found out Sarah was back in town. She was about to go wreak some havoc if um, her fiance didn't interfere. But we saw someone with her fiance who, who might be an addict because she was sipping on that um, morphine. But um, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that in another episode. Baby. We get some backstory while she um, put the, sip that little morphine in her. But... Yeah, Christy, she was about to go give, look like she was about to give Sarah some of that work, that smoke, but she got stopped. But Jay doesn't know. That's what I was saying in episode three, I mean, episode four review. I, I was hitting that like, what's going to happen when Jay finds out? Jay, you know, he, he crazy. Jay's crazy. So if he finds out that she took out even though he has a soft side, like what he did last episode with the bus driver, that was that was very that was, he has a, he has a heart. He has some kindness about him. We see he has a relationship with Kenny's mother. He's built some trust with her. Seems like he really likes Jay, um, Kenny's mother, and what he did with the bus driver and how he was able to do some uh, do a, a good deed for Victor. So Jay is pretty cool, but he crazy. Jay's crazy. So when he finds out that Sarah is responsible for taking out his friend, that could be very bad for Boyd and the others. Because we don't know what Jade is capable of when he gets crazy. He's very, he's, he's no dummy, he's smart. What is going to happen? Now I could be over-exaggerating. There may be nothing, he may forgive Sarah. And that would be some character development because he has came off as an a-hole even in this short minimal of time. But I wouldn't be surprised if they go another route where this takes him off the rails when he finds out that this girl took out his friend and Kenny already wants her, wants to put her in the box. I think Jade is going to be right there with Kenny, putting her in that box when he finds out 
Christy seems like she's going to be on that side. You may see the coup happen with Boyd. Boyd's in some deep trouble right now for not telling them about her. Ellis may be his only, his son may stand by his side because Ellis did, he did tell Ellis. So Ellis will probably be on his side, but he's probably going to worry about Kenny, Christy, and Jay. Jim, he's got Jim on his side, but it could be a battle for leadership um, at, with this Sarah crap. Uh, but we're going to find out in the next episode what happens. Will Jay finally find out about his friend's death? But post comments. Let me know what you guys think. I probably missed something in this episode that I didn't um, acknowledge, but that was the most of the stuff that I was interested in. But post comments, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you subscribe to the channel.